In this video, we are going to talk about application of differential calculus. And the first application that we'll consider is gradient. For any curve, the gradient function is given as dy dx. I want to find the gradient of the curve y equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 4 at the point x equal to 2. We are given y equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. The gradient function of this curve is dy dx. That means we are going to differentiate. Differentiate 2x squared to get 4x. Remember, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. That's how we got 4x. Differentiate 3x to get 3. The power of x here is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. And x raised to the power 0 is 1. Differentiate minus 4 to get 0. So the gradient function of this curve is dy dx equal to 4x plus 3. At x equal to 2, the gradient of the curve is this. You can say dy dx at x equal to 2. In place of x, we are going to write 2. 4 times 2 plus 3. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 3 is what? 11. So this is the gradient of the curve at x equal to 2. What is the slope of the tangent to the curve? y equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2 at the point x equal to 2. Now, take note of this. If I have a tangent to a curve at a particular point, the gradient of the curve at that point is equal to the gradient of the tangent at that same point of contact. So, to determine the slope, slope is also gradient. The slope of the tangent, I will need to determine the slope of the curve. Okay? We are given y is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2. So the gradient function dy dx is equal to differentiate 2x cubed. We have 6x squared. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 minus 1 2. Differentiate minus 5x squared. We have minus 10x. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. 2 minus 1 is 1. Differentiate 2 to get 0. At x equal to 2, the gradient of the curve, dy dx at x equal to 2 is equal to, in place of x here, write 2. 6 times 2 squared minus 10 times 2. 6 times 2 squared is 24. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 10 times 2 is 20. So we'll be having 4. 24 minus 20 is 4. So the gradient of the curve at x equal to 2 is 4. That means the slope or the gradient of the tangent to the curve at x equal to 2 is still equal to 4. I hope you get that. The rate of change can also be dy dx. If I am to calculate the rate of change of the curve, y equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3 at the point x equal to 4, I will have to find dy dx, which is equal to differentiate 2x squared to get 4x, Differentiate plus x to get plus 1. Differentiate minus 3 to get 0. So at x equal to 4, the rate of change is this. Dy dx at x equal to 4 will be equal to, in place of x, we put 4. 4 times 4 plus 1. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Your job now is to determine the slope of the tangent line to the curve. 
y equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 1. At the point, x equal to 0. So solve it and drop your answer in the comment section, and I will review it. All right? I'll see you in the next video. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like the video, and share to your friends and to your classmates.